In this back to school season, as you try to help your kids become their best in every way, we have some tips to follow today. Dr. Susan Maples wrote this book, Brave Parent, Raising Healthy, Happy Kids Against All Odds in Today's World. And Dr. Maples joins us right now with five unique steps to take. Dr. Susan Maples, it's so great to have you here today. Thank you so much, Paula. Thanks for having me. Well, absolutely. I think these are things that we all want to know about. And I think even if you don't have a kid in your life, this stuff can apply to adults as well. Absolutely. Yeah, so you're, um, I, I just want to talk about your background real quick. You're a dentist, but I know you believe yep. in the whole body approach, the, uh, the holistic yes, I'm approach. Yes, I'm, I'm a total health dentist, right? And I'm president of the American Academy for Oral and Systemic Health, and I'm an author and a speaker. Well, my goodness, you've got it all covered. Uh, this, this first thing, though, this very first uh, tip you wanted to give us was the one-finger rule when it comes to snack packages. All right, so right. Tell, tell us about that. I'm going to hold one up, and I'm going to demonstrate as it's, you explain, okay? It's basically a ploy to getting people back to eating whole foods, but if you're going to use, buy commercial foods for your kids to snack on or eat, even breakfast cereals, we try to say even with little kids, toddlers who are in the front of the cart at the grocery store, if you can't cover all the ingredients with one little finger, mm -hmm. it doesn't get to go in the cart. Yeah, I, I just this happens to be just a normal package of potato chips, and, and it's a snack size, and even my big adult finger doesn't cover all of those ingredients. So that just means it's over-processed. It's the kind of thing that we should avoid. That's right, but guess, guess what? Something like a regular kettle potato chip has only three ingredients. Fritos have three ingredients. But what I say is, when they get old enough to count, if it's five ingredients or less, it earns the right in the cart. And if, if they get to get, be able to read more sophisticated words, any words that don't sound like real food, guess what? They're yeah. not real food. Yeah. They're preservatives and emulsifiers and thickeners and chemicals to flavor enhancers, and they really don't belong in our bodies. Your next one is, oh, get ready, folks, the no sugar rule. You say don't serve any sugary beverage. That's right. We are now consuming 22 to 40 teaspoons of sugar a day, mm. suffering from every metabolic disease, obesity and diabetes and non-alcoholic fatty liver disease for kids who've never even had a sip of alcohol. It's affecting 24% of our kids. So if we could just eliminate all sugary beverages, we would remove 50% of the sugar in our diet, 50%. Just to stop drinking it. Yes. Juice, sports drinks, soda, energy drinks, all of it. Just get it out of your house and don't even have it for the parents because guess what? Kids are really good mimics. They're going to want what you're drinking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so now sleep. Let's talk. Oh, yes, beautiful sleep. Uh, mm -hmm. Teach kids their sleep hygiene. I, I like your rule about uh, a screen curfew. Tell us more about that yeah. one. What we really want to do is create sleeping sanctuaries that are super comfortable for kids to get a really good night of restorative, restful sleep. So we want it dark. We want it dark and cool and quiet, and we want it to be a place of comfort for them. And screen time definitely interrupts that darkness. And we all seem to know this, but we give in. So get all the screens out of the room, even televisions, televisions and tablets and mm -hmm. phones, everything out of the room. And then, you know, so going beyond uh, physical health, um, we need to talk emotional and social and cognitive health for kids. What does that mean exactly for children? Well, we all seem to know right now that anxiety and depression are really big in schools, and addiction is something we all worry about for our kids. And so to avoid that, we need to start young, giving them words of uh, description for their emotions and ways to cope with stress, ways that would calm them, like breathing techniques and yoga and meditation, and really just talking it out so that kids aren't harboring secrets that could be dangerous to them. Yeah, and I know that you really want us to show our love, too, to kids, because that's, that's the biggest thing. If kids, a kid feels loved and safe, that's the foundation. Yes, and one of the ways to feel loved is to, be a really, to really feel heard. So really to consider their thoughts and feelings before react, overreacting quickly on, you know, your laws of the household. One more thing, and I knew you'd have to throw this in, um, exercise. Getting a, ki getting a kid to move. I guess that's uh, a little bit harder now, isn't it, with uh, the couch potatoes, with the devices, right? 
You know, we are designed to move, all of us, but unfortunately our lifestyle is much more sedentary, much more indoor play, much more um, sitting on computers and laptops and gaming. And yes, we need kids to move every day. And it doesn't have to be organized activities like, you know, organized sports. A, a, you know, a living room dance party or playing outside, mm-hmm. playing tag or playing frisbee or taking walks or hikes, any of that that you can do for, as a family is even better. Well, uh, Dr. Maples, your, uh, your book is great. I, in going through it, it's, it's, um, it's very easy to read. I like how it's laid out. It's called Brave Parent, Raising Healthy, Happy Kids Against All Odds in Today's World. And, uh, and that, that is tougher than it's been, uh, but we can do it. And uh, Dr. Susan has some great ideas in there. It was great for you to join us today. We appreciate you for that, Dr. Susan. And uh, Thank you, Paula. Yeah, Wishing your lifespan, your health span equals your lifespan, too. Ooh, I love that. BeABraveParent.com is where you can find the doctor and all her info as well as the book.